can be our newest VJ. Hey, this is your girl Mary Alma, and I'm your queen on the New York scene. I'm deciding to make you a San Diego finalist. Woo! Cape Town life can be very lush, with an aura of natural beauty, soaring mountains, and amazing beaches. As you can see, it's also a very cosmopolitan city with lovely art deco buildings and ritzy apartments. It's now more than ever that Cape Town's time as the preeminent African city has arrived. I'm your host, Mariyama, and come join me as I explore and take you on this exciting 36-hour journey. or at least have heard of Hollywood's famous Walk of Fame. Well, directly behind me is the world-class, luxurious Pebble Bay Hotel in Cape Town, which has its own version of what I call Pebble Bay Hotel Walk of Fame. There are many celebrities that have stayed here. And as you can see, we have Michael Jackson, as well as South African-born Charlize Theron. I'm standing in Pebble Bay Hotel's presidential suite, where so many celebrities that we saw outside have stayed here. So come on, let's go take a look. Here, as you can see, we're in the grand living room where people can congregate and just chat and have a good time. Over to my right here, we have a very well-stocked bar. As we pass through the living room, we're going to the balcony, which has an amazing view. Isn't that beautiful? And last but not least, we are entering into the master bedroom, which also has its own private bath. So as you can see, this is definitely a luxurious, world-class hotel. And I was told the last celebrity to stay here was the amazing Celine Dion. Where else in the world will you see penguins on a beach? Well, I'm in an area called Boulder's Beach, which is the home to 3,000 African penguins. And as delightful as they may look, a little penguin told me they could be a little stinky at times. Well, let's go check it out for ourselves. Did you know that a third of the world's gold is produced right here in Cape Town, South Africa? If you're looking to see some glitz and glam, other than diamonds that is, you must come visit the Gold Africa Museum. Now it's known as the United Nations World Heritage Site and the museum, Robin Island's most famous prisoner was Nelson Mandela. And this was his exact cell right here. It's one of the most favorite pilgrimage spots in all of Cape Town, South Africa. District 6 was a mixed community of black, white, Muslim, and Indian residents. Up until the apartheid government enforced racial segregation and removed 60,000 people from their homes. This award-winning community museum portrays the fascinating history of apartheid and its effects on ordinary people. It must have been really hard when the actual apartheid system took into effect and people were removed from their homes. What was that like? Well, I would say it was very, very traumatic. Um, can you imagine having lived in an area virtually all your life and through no other reason than the color of your skin being wrong, you're being kicked out of that, that, uh, that area? What would you say you want your legacy to be? Because you are here. What I would like to really to see is District 6 to be reimagined, the district just come back and become that space where people could live together again as a people and not as a color or a creed or a culture. But people just come in to live and take live in a space that they call home. And that's the bottom line. Well your essential cultural visit in Cape Town is definitely the District 6. That's all right. <laughs> There is no other African city that displays such heart-stopping beauty, rich culture, and history so effortlessly. In the last 36 hours, you have experienced just a taste of Cape Town, South Africa, and there's so much more. 
I'm your host, Mariama. See you next time.